What's going on YouTube? This is my very first video. Honestly, I've never done this before. I'm used to being on the other side of the camera, not in front of the camera. Thank you for joining me and being here with me. Uh, got my coffee. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. We're here today to talk about why I bought the red Komodo and if it was worth it. First thing first, I bought the red Komodo for the image quality, obviously. Um, the red Komodo shoots in 6K. 16 stops a dynamic range. Um, you get the red quality, you get red raw with it, and you also get pro red. So that's a plus if you want to shoot with smaller sizes. Depending on your project, you may shoot pro res. Depending on your project, you may shoot red raw. Me personally, my experience with the red Komodo so far, I've shot, I'd say 50 50. Another reason why I bought the red Komodo is usage. I want to use my camera to shoot cinematography. And to do that, I needed a cinema camera. I will say, nowadays with the cameras that we have out, I don't feel like you need a cinema camera to shoot cinematography. With the cameras now, the image quality is so good. The storylines are still powerful with projects that I've seen someone shoot with the DSLR. So another reason why I bought the Red Komodo is jobs, to get certain jobs with the Red Komodo. This is one where I can't completely justify the Red Komodo yet because it hasn't changed the jobs that I'm receiving or the inquiries I'm getting yet. This is one that I feel like takes being intentional as well. It's not just the camera. It's also you seeking the work, doing the work, shooting the work yourself. With a DSLR camera, you can go out and shoot a movie. And I feel that'll get you more jobs shooting a film than just having a cinema camera, if that makes sense. I can't say that simply having the Red Komodo has gotten me those jobs. Whatever I shoot, whatever I put energy into, that's what really gets me the jobs. One of the big reasons why I purchased the Red Komodo is to be able to utilize the Red Raw. Now with the Red Raw, you have different options of shooting in high quality, medium quality, and low quality. Also, there is no native ISO. So what that means is you can change your ISO in post without changing the footage. What I mean by that is when you're shooting, it doesn't matter what you have the ISO on. It's not affecting an image. The ISO that's recommended to shoot on on the red, I believe is 800 ISO. So you wanna keep that in mind too. Another reason why I bought the Red Komodo is the post workflow. Using Red Raw, the workflow for me is a lot easier when color grading and correcting your image is, is a beauty. The files for the Red Raw are extremely large, so you wanna keep that in mind too. 